Happy Friday, everyone. We are so glad you're here. Well, today's Have You Heard topic, the UK is entering a mourning period following the Queen's death. I know it's what is on everyone's mind, and it has been, of course, all day yesterday, right, Kara? That's right. Yep, it's the end of an era. Elizabeth II was queen from February 1952 until her death yesterday, September 9th, 2022. We're going to put it into perspective. Erica Cobb is back with us. Let's yes, up, Erica. Erica. Okay, here we go. All right, let's put it into perspective how long she was queen. Here are some of the major worldwide historical events that happened during Queen Elizabeth II's 70-year reign. Okay, 1952, the world's first commercial jet service began. 1969, the Apollo second moon landing took place. 75, the Vietnam War came to an end. The Berlin Wall falling in 1989. Wow. Apartheid was dismantled in 1994. Of course, 9-11, we can go on and on with all of the historical events that have happened in her reign, the pandemic. Her coronation was the first ever to be broadcast live on television. If you really think about it, for most of the people in the UK, she's been the only monarch that has served since they've been alive. Prince Charles now takes the throne as King Charles III. Can either of you imagine being a mother, a wife, and a queen by 25 years old? I'll speak for all of us when I say maybe not moms or wives, but we've always been queens. Yes! Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> That's good, Kara. Okay. I mean, <laughs> literally thinking about all of the the hats or the crowns mm -hmm. that she had to wear at that time. It's mm. hard enough, you know, just being a wife and a mom. Especially, I got married later in life. Uh, I was 37, and so mom at 39 and 41. But then throw on the responsibility uh, of being a queen and mm. and the poise and and I mean everything that she the way she conducted herself at that time mm -hmm. I could not so imagine oh, yes. so many hats yeah what do you think Erica I, how do you even well first of all to not to live in your 90s or live to be in right. your 90s yes. I'll steal from Al Jackson my co-host on DBL oh, he's yeah, always man. like that's the dream right that's the hope and it's such a blessing yes um, but yeah to get to your point at 25 years old right. to have that type of responsibility um, that's kind of like an anointing right you know, like right. you can't really explain things like that it's like Beyonce just unexplainable <laughs> right. exactly you know? yes yeah That's exactly and and, and I think to another when you think about like the people that she surrounded herself with of course and the way that they were you know building her up and all and as they as they were as right. they, she would expect but in the end it's what she embodied it's those characteristics and the qualities that she had that made her so beloved because you can only learn so much but some things are just innate and I yeah. think that's why she had so much respect uh, because uh, of just her leadership the things in her that sustained her it was just something these qualities that she had within herself yeah and to your point Erica she said or I was telling Christine before the show two days ago she was photographed with the new prime minister meeting her and she, she looked, looked great yeah she and looked fine healthy. but to, and to Mr. Jackson's point it's like yeah you know you want that's how you want to go out she mm -hmm. was doing her job doing you know and then she you know, passed with her family. So, passed, yeah. yes, surrounded yeah. by love. Yeah. And um, yeah, so it's we obviously um, we're going to be talking about it. Um, I mean, gosh, for the next weeks to come. Um, we're going to switch gears right now mm -hmm. um, because there's a new term that's buzzing around. I know everybody's heard it. I know you've talked about it. Mm. Quiet quitting, mm. but I had not heard of quiet firing. Mm. But if you're going to quiet quit, of course, there's going to be some quiet fi firing. Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. this refers to employees rejecting the hustle culture. Didn't we do that for about two years? Mm -hmm. Isn't it time to get back to the hustle? Yeah. <laughs> and sorry, um, you know how I feel about this. And setting job boundaries in a recent survey conducted by Resume Builder revealed almost 25% of workers between ages 35 and 44, I think it's more like 25, admit that they will likely be quiet quitting guys. But now quiet firing, this is when an employer purposely treats their workers badly to get them to quit. Now, this is not a new practice mm. uh, for the corporate working world, but as you can imagine, this is having a major impact on workplace culture. First and foremost, just because I watch you, I know your work ethic. Yeah. 
Hmm. What do you think about this quiet quitting? You know, first of all, as you mentioned, we've been doing this for years. Right. Okay. Yes. Like, on, and on both sides. <laughs> right. You know, there is now this thing where when you said you feel some type of way about how people's mm -hmm. work ethics have shifted and continue to shift, mm -hmm. there is going to be a push and pull. There's right. going to be a consequence for that. So I am very, I'm a firm believer in the hustle, mm -hmm. but I also am a firm believer in taking care of yourself and that mental health component yeah. has to come in. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in necessarily finding balance, a perfect balance, but I do believe that it's possible to take care of yourself and your mental health as well as continue with your hustle. So if you're someone who really needs your job, I would suggest that you find that balance in your own way yeah. faster because employers are not going to put up with the lack of productivity right. and the idea that mm -hmm. like you're just going to do what you want to do when you want to do it. But Erica, right, don't right. y'all think about burning a bridge? I would never, that's one of my biggest things, don't ever burn a bridge. You hope you could pick up the phone and call anybody that right. you worked with and say, I'm available, do you need it? And they would say yes. I mean, right? doing what you want to do when you want to do it is called being a teenager, okay? <laughs> that is what that is called. Yes. I mean, we all got to live it, hopefully, God willing. But, right. you know, yeah. I, it, it's true. It's like, I, I do... I do think the positive thing about how we are evolving is that we are putting an emphasis on mental health mm -hmm. and things of that nature, but there has to be, obviously, a give and take. Yes. Right. Oh, I wish we had I wish yeah. we had an hour with you. <laughs> guys, can you give it up for Erica Cobb, please? Oh my God. For sticking around. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. I mean, Thank you for being here. just awesome. And Atlanta, I love you. Yes. Okay, and tell <laughs> Al, Al was be like, because, you know, I'm there all doing the tour all around the country. Al's like, how'd you get Atlanta? And she's like, don't you worry about That's right. Al and I would be duking it out we on you. We're happy that you did. I know. But yes. please give everybody our love and mm -hmm. tell them we, we just love and support Absolutely. all of yes. the great work that you do right mm -hmm. here in 11 Alive. That's right. Um, okay, 